guys, welcome back to my channel for another Tester Tuesday first impression review on a foundation. Today's review is going to be actually on a foundation and primer. The first thing is going to be this new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I apply it to the right side of my face and I use my typical Hourglass Veil Primer on the left. So we have a good comparison between like how a primer that I usually use on a daily basis versus a new one. And then today for the foundation, I am testing out the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I'm in the shade 2.2. This is supposed to be a super long lasting 15 hour wear foundation buildable from medium to full coverage, natural looking, comfortable to wear, and essentially budge proof. This was made for a long studio day of 15 hours. So there's no SPF and kind of built for photography and videography. So I'm very excited to try these out. If you're interested in seeing how I apply the foundation, check-ins throughout the day, flash and no flash test, as well as my final thoughts at the end of the day with whether or not I recommend this product and who I recommend it for, then just keep on watching. I am going to be applying the product using my vlog camera because you guys really, really loved it when I did that with my Guerlain Terracotta Foundation. So I really appreciate the feedback and I'm gonna keep that format. Just keep on watching, but before that, Here's your daily dose of Cooper. <laughs> Why do you look like you're gonna fall asleep like this? This cannot be comfortable for you. Moving into the application of the foundation now. Okay guys, you really liked me doing the application using my vlogging camera and natural light, so excuse the weird background. My left side of my face, I'm gonna use what I always use, which is my Hourglass Veil Primer. This gives me a good idea because it just is a really good kind of all-in-one primer. So I'm gonna prep my skin on the left side with Hourglass. On the right side of my face, I'm using the Smashbox Oil Primer. And I thought this was really interesting because I've never seen an actual oil primer before. It says to massage up to two drops over all your face, so I'm just going to do one drop on the right side of my face. This is supposed to be super quick absorbing and good for all skin types. So I'm going to do one drop. Ooh. This was color matched to me, so oh, that's a little warm, but we'll see. I am pretty tan right here, so maybe this will like match me up. So on this side of my face, I'm gonna use my Artiste brush. I just really love my Artiste brush, and I'm actually gonna use it on both sides because I use different primers. I wanna make sure we kinda get the same feel. So popping this open, I'm gonna do one pump to start, and going in with the left side of my face, which has the Hourglass Veil Primer. One pump, looks like a very light coverage, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. Um, color match is good, the lighting's a little off, I feel like it's a little blue in here, but it's natural light, so I can't control that. You can see it did get rid of a little bit, but I'm gonna go in with one more pump. Okay, so this is two pumps on the left side of my face with the veil primer. I think it looks pretty good. It looks actually surprisingly very natural considering it's supposed to be buildable to a full coverage. I like it so far. I feel like I can see a difference. I'm gonna change my blinds and see if it can show more. You can definitely see the coverage is there. So I built it up to medium. I'm gonna go into the side so we can see how it works with the oil primer. And then um, if I need more coverage, I'll go in with more. Okay, two pumps on both sides. I feel like the oil primer did a pretty nice job. I actually feel like the oil primer made it look a little bit more full coverage on this side with the same amount of product. Liking it so far, I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and do a check-in as well as I will insert photo flash and non-flash test at the end of the video. Check-ins throughout the day and my final thoughts on how this product is wearing 
and whether or not I recommend it in a few hours. So I will be right back. Okay guys, it is 1.37 and I walked into a different room that's a little bit brighter. So you guys can see this is my makeup on with everything and I just use my typical powder which is under my eyes. I use the Cover FX Illuminizing, Illuminizing, Illuminating Trans lucent kind of like setting powder and then on the rest of my face i use my 100 percent pure face powder so i'm really impressed at how this looks on camera it really looks flawless and smooth my favorite thing is it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey or like a lot of times like photography or um spe especially made like full coverage for photography it can feel a little like gross on the skin this doesn't feel like anything it's actually comfortable to touch right now and i just really like it i actually think it looks a little bit better with the oil primer side versus my veil primer side and i did buff everything in my skin's a little dry right here so maybe that's why the oil side looks better so really freaking impressed with this the color match is really nice too and I think it's just really nice like matching with my shoulder <clears throat> Blends really nicely very impressed and I will check in in a few more hours. So be right back Hey guys, so we are back <clears throat> um, We're back. I just got back from lunch and I'm really loving how this foundation looks on my skin This is natural light. It is 330 <laughs> Is it 330? Hello oh, Yeah, 330 it's 3.30, so I've had it on for two hours, and it looks really, really nice. I'm really freaking impressed. I like the oil side better still. I feel like the veil side wasn't as good as the, yeah, veil side, oil primer. But it looks good. I'm happy. I'll see you in a few more hours. Hey guys, it is 7.19, so I've had this on for about six six hours now and I just finished I'm just like freaking amazed I've not touched up my face makeup at all and I mean starting to look like I could probably use a little touch up here because it's shiny but it doesn't feel shiny maybe it's just the light maybe it's my highlight I don't know but it looks really good it looks like skin but better but like covered I probably need I don't know I did blow my nose like five times today so it's mostly probably from blowing my nose this side's not so bad this side I think I rubbed a little bit more but wow this looks really good this looks good this looks so good you know what I've noticed from filming here I need to clean all that crap up it's just we moved our office and our bedroom. Why do I have this? What the hell is that? Um, anyways, we moved, we came back from Miami. It was a mess. We had like all this luggage to unpack. Never fully finished that. And then we switched rooms. So we moved like the two most filled rooms. So it's just kind of this constant mess. And I've been trying to make sure I keep up with everything. I'm behind on my blog. And I just noticed there's like dead flies here. Okay. Um, I'll check in in a few more hours with my final thoughts. Okay guys, I am back. What time is it? 10.25. It's 10.25. I've had this foundation on for nine hours pretty much. And I really like the way this foundation looks. Obviously, I'm going to insert the close-up. I'm greasy. It's hot. I've been outside. So I would say even though I'm greasy, the foundation is still wearing really nicely everywhere else except around my nose, but I have had some minor allergy issues and been rubbing and blowing my nose quite a bit. I am not upset about it. I actually really like this foundation and I'm gonna bring it with me for my next trip, which is super important. By the way, just so you guys know, Cooper's like sitting right here. He's like, it's time to film. It's time to sit on mommy's lap. This foundation is super long wearing because even though I'm getting a little oily, it's still there. And if you're an oily girl, you know there's no stuff in the oil, it's just about managing the oil. And what you can do is using a mattifying primer, use blotting sheets and powder throughout the day. All I would really need is a blotting sheet and I'd be good to go because the foundation's still there, it's still covering. I love the way the priming oil looked underneath this foundation. I don't know what it was about it, but 
it just worked beautifully. The foundation itself is oil free, SPF free, perfect for photography, perfect for events, perfect for anything you really need because you can always wear SPF underneath. Love the color. I love the buildability. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I love how long it wears. And I just think it's a really good foundation. I'm very impressed because I have not tried a ton of Smashbox foundations. I think I tried their Water BB. I was not a fan of that one. Really like this one. And I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with the priming oil. I think this priming oil is great. It really Really helps the foundation look smoother and almost more full and just it made it go on beautifully so I definitely want to play with this and some other foundations but these two together is just freaking amazing if you're oily I wouldn't worry too much because I'm oily on my t-zone and clearly I'm oily after about nine hours I'm gonna be a little bit oily blotting is normal this isn't a matte foundation this oil is good for all skin types but you know a little bit more mature skin a little bit more like texture problems or if you have dry areas I really think this oil is really amazing do I recommend it yes do I recommend it for all skin types yeah I don't see a problem with it if you use the right skincare and primer of course you can make any foundation work for you I really think this is a very versatile foundation for all skin types though because it is oil free and long wearing and a natural finish now if you're super oily obviously use a mattifying primer in your oily areas if you want to keep it a little bit more matte and oil controlled or just carry along a blotting sheet you'll be fine you don't need to retouch up you just need to kind of blot away that oil this I do recommend actually for oily girls and for dry girls because I always tell you guys just because you have oily skin does not mean you need to avoid oils. Oily skin is overproducing oils because your skin thinks it needs more oil. So if you balance it with oil, it hopefully will balance out your skin. Now that's not for everything, but that's kind of the science behind using oil on oily skin. If you have dry skin, oil's great. It makes your skin feel great. Oil really is universally usable or good for everybody. You just have to find the right oil. Certain oils don't work for my skin type. Flat out argan oil does something weird to me. So just find the right type of oil. I love rosehip oil. I love um, like really rich carrot butter. I also love my cosmetics cleansing oil, which I think is olive oil based. So, you know, find what works for you, find the brand that works for you, and oil it up. I'm gonna wear it a couple more times this week before I have to leave for my trip. And actually, I can tell you guys now, um, because this video is not going up until after it happens, but it's been killing me. I've like known about this for a month, but I am going to be on, well, I've been on Style Code Live on Amazon with Tati. And I'm just like so, so excited. So I'm trying to film everything and prep it for when I'm over there. I literally am flying out Sunday um, and I'm gonna be filming Monday with Tati on Style Code and then I fly back Tuesday. So this video's up while I'm in the air or on my way to being up in the air. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me on Style Code Live. If you didn't get to watch it live and like interact with me you can still watch that segment on the website you just uh, google style code live amazon and then look for the august 1st episode and i would love it if you guys would like go watch it even if you missed the live taping of it if you didn't see my july favorites video on here tati was my guest and we collaborated on my channel she's just amazing and it's just so crazy because i remember when i was like going through my huge phase of discovering youtube and and youtubers that I wanted to watch in the beauty community I came across Tati glam life guru and I remember being drawn to her because her voice is very soothing she's more mature and I don't mean by age I mean she's mature in personality in terms of I loved and respected the way she investigated makeup how she would do her like she really cared about what the products were finding the best buy for the price that she could afford or that we could afford and also dabbling into luxury and obviously as her channel's grown she's gone into more like the WTFs and OMGs and I just really really respected her channel and I always found it soothing to watch and then I remember the Laura Beauty Blogger Awards when she was a part of the 
top 10 finalists and I watched all of her videos because that's when she started doing five uploads a week and I was like wow how amazing and then she went to New York for the finals and it was just so crazy and I watched her channel grow and she inspired me to enter the Allure Beauty Blogger Awards because I had started my channel around the time she was entering the Beauty Blogger Awards and so I remember like the following year I saw it and I saw the application and I entered and I actually made it into the top 10 so and I tweeted her and said hey thank you for inspiring me I wouldn't even know about these awards if it wasn't for the fact that I was following you and watching you and kind of like going through that whole process with you and she tweeted back and randomly I was at a coffee bean hanging out with one of my other friends who's also on YouTube and I was like oh my gosh that's Tati from Glam Life Guru. I want to say hi to her. And so I ran in and I said hi to her. And I remember her taking that time and like took a breath and looked at me and was just like, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. It's really hard nowadays to be a YouTuber and get noticed, but just keep doing what you're doing. And I really took that to heart. And I mean, I think this is like, what, two years later? I'm... I get to work with her and she picked me as her winner for her giveaway and you know it's just it's not just that like she's helping me out but this is someone who I respected and watched for years like and I get to work with her and I get to be on camera with her which was just really kind of awesome and cool and not just Tati but like James. James has been amazing and coordinating and helping make sure that like I'm not running around with my head cut off. So he's been really amazing at just you know walking me through everything and same with Tati and I just can't thank them enough and I can't thank them enough for how genuine and how much they want to give back to this community and how much respect I have for the both of them. So, you know, it's just beyond words. I don't even know what to say because I don't feel like anything I could say could be relevant to how I truly feel towards them. And it's not just like, oh, they're, they're trying to help my channel out. It's just after getting to know them as people, they're just, they're amazing people. They're really amazing people. And it kind of gives me like, it inspires me and it gives me hope and it makes me want to be as genuine and giving and just open as they are. So, um, yeah, they did an amazing thing and they are continuously doing an amazing thing and just why they even wanted to help another channel out is just you know because there's so many other people out there and you know they're, they're, I, don't, I don't even know what to say I'm just like overwhelmed right now so I hope you guys were able to be a part of that with me I rambled a ton towards the end of this review but basically I love the foundation um I hope you guys have been on this oh and oh my gosh thank you to all the people that took the time to actually send a personal email to nominate me I, I'm overwhelmed because it wasn't just the comment nominations, it was mainly the email, the personal email nominations that you guys sent in, which I didn't even know you guys were doing, that really put me in the finals for being one of the giveaway winners. So I didn't realize that. I was just kind of like, who nominated me? Like, I don't, you know, like what's going on? And it was you guys, the one, the people watching right now who sent a personal email to Tati. And really, you've made my dreams come true. You've helped me, like, just, you've just helped me so much. And I don't know how to thank you enough for that. And I just want to promise you. I will keep making videos and making good videos and improving my content and listening to your feedback and hopefully giving you what you want to see on here because at the end of the day I make these videos for you as much as they are for me they're really for you because um, when I, you enjoy my videos I have a great time and it really makes me happy so I love this community that we've built here and I really really appreciate all of you guys watching right now 
still watching right now. Um, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because starting next week, I will be doing five uploads a week. I've been talking it over with Hubs and he thinks it's a good idea. It's a challenge. I might miss a day here and there, but I promise you I'm gonna do my darnest to do five videos a week for as long as I can as a thank you. And I know you might not watch all of the videos, but I want the content to be there for you if you want it. So make sure you're subscribed. I will be uploading Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sundays. I'm taking Wednesdays and Saturdays off for catch-up days. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys come back here. I'm gonna start doing Makeup Bag Mondays here on my channel. If you guys follow me on my blog, it's been a blog series. It is now officially a YouTube series on my channel. Tester Tuesdays isn't going anywhere. We're gonna take Wednesday off because we couldn't think of anything to name Wednesday. <laughs> And then uh, Hubs is lobby at me. We literally could not think of anything for Wednesdays, except for like shit Wednesdays. But that's not a good title for a series. Um, Thursdays, not sure what that's gonna be yet, but it'll be a video. Friday favorites, and then Sundays with Serene. So come back here. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe. I can't believe I was on style code. I can't believe I'm finally telling you guys because I've been holding it in for like a month at least. Oh, it's been so hard to hold it in. I haven't even told my family. I haven't told my friends. Um, I'm meeting a friend in New York that's about to leave New York, but I was like, hey, I'm gonna be in New York. I can't tell you why. Do you wanna come over for dinner? <laughs> and she was just like, come on, tell me, tell me. And by the way, my friend is Samantha um, and she's like, who am I going to tell? I'm like, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Just come over to my hotel room. We'll have room service and chill out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've talked your ear off. Cooper is sleeping on my lap. I just <laughs> have the black lung. Um, <coughs> Cooper is over here on my lap. Um, and we thank you so much for all your love and support. And we will see you next time. Bye. I think I rambled for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's okay.